Hey everybody, my name is Black and Ola. Welcome to a new video. Today, I finally got my hands on the brand new, all new console from Nintendo, the Nintendo Switch. It is the latest and greatest in Nintendo technology, and I'm super excited to be able to show it to you. I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing today. I got the base Switch console on the right there. On the left, I got the all new Zelda Breath of the Wild, the really first and the only truly available game on the Switch, but more stuff's coming soon. Also, I've got Wii U, <laughs> Wii U, see, I'm still trying to move off from old technology. We've got the Switch Pro Controller, which is supposed to be awesome. I don't want to really mess with the Joy-Cons I'm playing for extended periods of time, so I picked that up. So all together, we got a nice intro console package, so we're going to go through the Switch, what's inside, mess around with the parts a little bit, and uh, we'll set it up. Let's open this bad boy up, see what's inside. Look at that, it's all nicely packaged together here. The console is actually like super smaller than any other console. It's not that much bigger than a tablet, but you're gonna be able to take it with you anywhere. The packaging seems to be more paper than anything else. So inside, look at my awesome MagFest shirt. This is, this is the console, like that's it. It's so tiny. Take it out of its wrapping here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. An exhaust port up there for it to get hot. USB connector slot. Then, the piece de resistance, two Joy-Cons, which are the main selling points of the console. Now I got the, the uh, neon one, which comes with a red and a blue Joy-Con. The Joy-Cons will be able to hook onto the Switch. And now me, I've got stupid big people hands. So this is my first time holding them. I wish Nintendo invited me over so that I could uh, do stuff, but yeah, I mean, look at this. These are nice. Auto focus, you think, and like I said, I've got big ass hands, but the quality is definitely there. There are a couple shoulder buttons there, and it looks like some sort of sync connector. The control sticks, they click and they move. There's many different points of input there. We'll be able to play two player games as well. And despite my hands being massive, they're not so small that I won't be able to interact with them. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, these hook onto the sides of the switch. One goes on one side, one goes on the other. Oh, that little snap there is so satisfying. And that's it. That's the console. This is it. That's a Nintendo Switch. God damn, it's beautiful. What a nice piece of tech. I cannot wait to turn it on, go through the menu, and set it up. So we're going to hook this up uh, to our HDMI capture device. We're going to dock it and we will see what it looks like. The OS interface, the whole nine yards. Now, in the box, comes with some other stuff. Comes with a free HDMI cable. You'll need that to hook it up. But I've got plenty of these. We've got an AC adapter here as well. You can tell I, I don't do unboxing videos. So this is the first for me. I'm gonna try and uh, look at more tech stuff. And I need, I'm gonna need a new camera as well because he likes to look at the vibrance of my shirt. But yeah, it's an AC adapter. Nothing you guys ain't seen before. Got instruction manual. Woo! Nandayo! What the heck is this? Oh! 
This is the dock. So this is where the switch is going to put itself into Voltron style. You'll be able to see there, there is a connector in the back which will charge the switch and will connect this video output to the television. You'll see in the back that there are different connectors. There's the adapter, USB and HDMI out. Close that up. A couple USB ports on the side. Hopefully we'll be able to play Super Smash Brothers on this thing. There's no backward compatibility announced. So I'm not sure how that'll work, but it seems that games will be able to be ported over or remade from scratch. So if I have the opportunity to buy Smash Brothers again, I will probably do it. Here's a little dock here for the Joy-Con controllers to go. So they get charged up. Actually. You don't know how to, oh. Now, if you want to attach your Joy-Cons to something else, there's a little black buttons on either side. Just press that and they will disconnect. Nero, they're gone. Nero, that one's gone too. And then we'll hook them on here. Bam, look at this. You got yourself a nice little, nice little Joy-Con controller. Look at that. Now sadly, this doesn't charge, doesn't charge the Joy-Cons, but this will give you a consolidated control scheme in which it's a little bit easier to hold rather than, you know, you could free ball the Joy-Cons if you'd like, but you don't have to. So there is the attachment right there. Also got the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. We always go maximum with our peripherals because you don't want to always play with the Joy-Con. If I'm playing a competitive fighting game where I want a little bit more competitive fighting game on the Nintendo Switch, I want uh, a bit more control, a little bit more comfort, relaxation. This is the way to go. So this is the Switch Pro Controller. There it is. She looks mad clean. by Nintendo, we'll take this, oh, it's got four shoulder buttons, an L and R, a ZL and a ZR in classic Nintendo scheme. It's got a USB out to uh, charge it, similar to PlayStation 3. All right, so that thing doesn't want to zoom in, that's fine. Autofocus OP. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, it's pretty comfortably. I'll be playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild with this. I don't think I'll be using the Joy-Cons too much until I get one, two, switch. Uh, and then, the coup de gras. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I actually don't know how big a Switch cartridge is. Look at this waste of plastic. There's the game right there. It's so, it's so small. It's smaller than a DS card but slightly thicker. Look at that. Look at those connectors. The connector, it's so, it's so thick. So yeah, I'm going to lick this because everyone else has been licking it. So I'm just gonna... Ugh! All right, well, there's definitely some sort of coating on there, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, if that's supposed to distract children from from eating it, that's not very good. They should have just dipped it in something extreme. So yeah, small case. And there's no manual or anything. I assume they're going digital with the manuals. That's normal. So yeah, now we're going to hook this up uh, to video capture and we're gonna see what the OS looks like. So stick around. All right, so here I am in the Nintendo Switch menu. Uh, I was able to hook it up to my computer so I could show all of you guys. Uh, it's got a very basic, streamlined interface you can go to controllers and 
uh, change the order of your controllers or pair new ones in case you've got more Joy-Cons um, or more Pro controllers. So all I gotta do is hit L and R. It's a lot simpler than having to deal with the Wii U and Wii version. That was just awful. Just, ugh, it was the worst. We can take screenshots, visit the store. We're gonna visit the store right now and see what it looks like. Like I said, the Switch just came out today as we're releasing this video, so there isn't a lot up right now. Now you can download all these titles. Um, we already have Zelda, so we're not going to download it again. You can also see what is coming soon to the Switch. There'll be the more hype games like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now I had Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U, but uh, didn't get all the DLC. This will include all the DLC. You can even watch preview videos, look at screenshots, all that good stuff. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, slap a like on that. I really am excited to bring you Switch content. We're going to be playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So if you made it to the whole video, you're fucking awesome. Make sure to catch me on twitch.tv slash black and old. And also follow me on Twitter. Yeah, that's going to do it for now. Until next black and old video, TLDR patch notes, whatever. It's your boy signing off for now. Have a wonderful day.